Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. How's everybody doing? In the previous episode, I left you off here in Weird Woods, and holy moly, why am I level 10 with everyone? Well, you might think that's a little overkill, but I think we're prepping for a little bit of a situation that's about to come up. You don't necessarily have to do this, you don't have to level up, you can do it at any level because there's going to be a reason why. There's a way to cheese through this big situation coming up, but if you would like to handle it your own goddamn self, I recommend you re level everybody up to level 10. And one thing, or a couple things I'll show real quick. By getting to level 10, my characters have learned a few things. Alex has learned the ability Explosion Staff, which is an EZ ability, which means enemy zone. Basically, it's an AoE attack that attacks a certain area of enemies. You will see when I use it. Other thing is Luna. She has learned several abilities. I don't really remember where I left off on abilities. I think I still had... I think I had Purity Song. But these other three ones I have just learned. So, Cask... Actually, I might have had Cascade Song also. Um, but I learned Temptation Song at level 7 with Luna. Um, basically, what this does is it puts all enemies to sleep. Well, has a small chance to. But it's actually really useful. And I will show it off in today's episode. Another thing I'll probably show off is Tranquil Song, which heals all allies. That's what AA stands for. It's an all-ally heal ability. So it's basically like Healing Song, but for all allies, which is obviously very freaking useful. And then Raymus, of course, stuck here with no abilities. He will never learn anything. He's a useless bastard. But the other thing we learned, one thing I want to show, is you'll see there's a stat here called Number Attack. You'll see that for Alex, it's 2. For Luna and Raymus, it's 1. What that means is, in battle, when Alex attacks, he will physically attacks, he will attack twice. So instead of just one swing, he'll go swing and hit enemies twice. Anyway, the last thing we need to show in this dungeon before we go off and be done with it, is I, show, I was showing off the treasures, and I want to make sure I show off all the treasures. So, there's at least a few more treasures left here to pick up. I don't think there's anything down here. I think the next treasure I was about to pick up was this one. So another antidote. I believe there's another one over here. This is herb. Obviously, there was enemies around here. I cleared them all off screen. There will be more fights in this, in this, in these woods in this episode. Don't worry. There's another antidote there. I think there's another dead end up here. Yeah. Herb. So yeah, you'll see an enemy right there. But that's because over there is actually the exit. So we actually have to go around. So get around this way. There was another enemy up here, which I already killed. Another herb. You'll see this big clearing area, and well, there should be a sign that there's something coming up. Anyway, another thing that should be noted is there's another one of these red, unopenable chests at this point. Um, yeah, I, I showed I showed the one earlier, right? The one back in Berg. Yeah, we'll definitely have to wait till later to open those up, but they'll be worth it, I swear. Anyway, once you're ready to move on, uh, take a step over here and check out the next situation. Here's the situation I was referring to. Uh oh. Uh-oh. What are you? Stay back. Get away from us. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is not good. There are too many of them, man. Alex, let's run for it, man. <laughs> I don't even remember what voice I was doing. Oh, shit. They blocked all the paths. We're surrounded. Uh-oh. Alex, I'm too young and promising to die. That was the... F I think that's closer. Oh, what, who, who's the who's the red hat guy? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Looks like we have a bit of trouble here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I should make him sound like fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I was just going to say his name. I always blank on his name when I'm going to say it. Gosh. I am Alan Quartermain. Nah, what is his name? Why do I blank on his name always? Whatever, dude. He's the first James Bond. He's the best actor of all time. He's fucking... Oh my god. I know his name. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Anyway, who are you? Where the heck did you come from? What the heck is going on? Hmm. Perhaps this isn't the best time for an introduction. Do you kids want some help, or can you handle these critters by yourselves? Dude, you can ask, actually ask him for help. Um, but I think we got this. We got this. Of course you do. I'll just stand here and enjoy the show, then. Let's see what you got. That is nothing like what he actually sounds like. I just wanted to make him sound like uh, Indiana Jones' dad. Fuck! What's his name? Oh, it's killing me. Oh, it's killing me. Oh, it's ki- Oh, my God, it's killing me. 
Anyway, look at this impossible situation. At level at level six or seven or wherever I left off last episode, this would be impossible. There's no way we could win this without some help. But at level ten, we should be able to handle this. So let's check it out. We got this explosion staff move. I recommend you take out these goblins first. Also, these are new enemies we haven't shown the goblins. Um, I just didn't show them last episode. I'm pretty sure I showed the Gorgons, but not the goblins. Um, Temptation Song, see if we can put any of them to sleep. And in the meantime, Remus, you just attack another one of these goblins. Explosion Staff, Beast. Yeah, these guys are actually weak to Alex's moves. So, yeah, even a Sword Dance would kill one, but you want to take out more than one. Come on, get lucky. Yo, eh, all but one? That's too good. To be true. Are you kidding me? All but one? Alright, I'm not even going to use my MP now. All but one fell asleep. That is amazing. That's amazing. How lucky can you get, man? Anyway, alright. Looking good. Um, Alex should be able to take out one by himself. Right? One, like, even if he's not. Yeah. Because now you get to see the two attacks from Alex. Dude, this is awesome. I cannot believe that I put all of but all but one asleep. That was impressive. Yeah, don't expect to get that lucky with the sleep spell like I just did. That was an uh, anomaly to say the least. I usually don't get anywhere near that lucky with that. Like seriously, not even close. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach. Actually, Alex gets two turns, so he'll reach. Alex is too beast. So anyway, handled it. And you might be wondering, well, that didn't seem that bad, especially if you put them all to sleep. And it's true. I didn't need to overlevel quite as much as I did if you get lucky with Sleep Spell. But who said the situation was over? Alex, there are more of them, and we can't fight much longer. How about now, kids? Can I offer you some assistance? I'm so bored. I can't stand it. No. No, we got this. If you insist, kids, but you look a little gimpy, I must say your odds are not improving. Oh, don't mind me, dude. I got this. Who is this guy anyways? Psh, probably some douche cake. Maybe he's a thief and he just wants to... He just wants in on my action. Anyway, I'm literally going to use the exact same strat here. Um, yep, no difference. Maybe I'll get lucky with the sleep spell this time again. If not, obviously we'll utilize Explosion Staff a little bit more. But since I got so lucky with Temptation Song, I didn't need to. Come on, put half to sleep. Eh, I didn't even... Oh, my God. Well, that actually allowed me to kill that guy in one hit, so that actually worked out okay. But the rest of these four motherfuckers are going to jump me. I don't think they're all going to... Oh, man, I don't think they're going to be in a good situation to where I can actually... Actually, never mind. Those two guys just lined up nicely. I might be able to hit two. Yeah. Most I can hit is two. That's fine. Let's just do it. Um, Luna, you can attack the sleep one. And Ramus... You attack this Gorgon just in case Alex can't kill it. Yeah! Should die on that hit, though, right? Yeah, it'd be cool. Uh, I always forget how much HP those Gorgons have. Oh my god, that guy didn't die? Fucking Luna, you weak-ass bitch. Eh, that's fine. We'll be alright. We'll survive this. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Who's worried? You're not worried, are you? I'm not. I might be a little we're okay. Just one gobby left. He just, he's just going to smack Remus a good one upside the head. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's hit everybody with a Tranquil Song. Not going to need it, probably. It's good. We good. We got it. We got it. Who needs help, dude? I got this. I got this. I'm a fucking champ. What you know about that? Wait, what? Alex, I don't think we can win another fight. Let him help us. Oh, my God. Really? It's not over yet? What's that? Was one of you kids asking for help? Speak up so I can hear you. So, I'll just tell you now, you only have to fight three waves of, of these enemies. You can fight them all off yourself if you think you're ready. Honestly, it doesn't really matter whether or not you have him help you, except for the fact that you wouldn't be fighting all three battles. If you have him help you right away, you only fight one group, and then you don't get all the extra experience. So I... I thought I'd show you guys me knocking out two groups of these enemies, and then I'll uh, go ahead and ask him for help so you can see how beast this guy is, and yes, he's a beast. Ho ho ho, let's have a crack at these dogs then. Suppers are coming, I need work uh, to work up an appetite. He's probably more a country bumpkin than what I was given his voice for. 
I'm still blanking on his name. It's bothering the hell out of me. Anyway, I'm just gonna just do my thing. This guy's name is Lake, apparently, or Like A or Like. I don't know. I've never really uh, settled on what his name is supposed to actually be. But as you can tell, he's kind of good. He's level 90 freaking 9. Wah! Wow. And he goes one hit, two hit, three hit. Three hits. And he can kill things in one hit. He's too good. He's too good. So yeah, as I was saying, I never really have settled on what his actual name is supposed to be. I think it's just supposed to be Lake. Um, when I was a kid, I used to call him Like or Like A. Uh, I don't really give a fuck what you think it's supposed to be. I'm probably going to call him Like most of the time. Because the I. If there wasn't an AI in there, I'd probably call him Lake. But because of that I, dude, that I makes me read it wrong. And when I was 10 years old, how else was I supposed to think it was to be pronounced? So yeah, forgive me if that's not the proper pronunciation. But I, when I played games when I was a kid and I came up with ways to say things, you just got to live with the way I like to pronounce them. And it can't be, you know, between lake, lake and like, it can't be that far. So I'm probably going to call him like or like a, just because that's what I used to call him all the time. Me and my cousin would talk about this game with my brother. We just refer to him as like a or like. So, yeah. I'm going to call him like. Also, he's a beast. He fucking is beast as shit. And everyone lives, so hell yeah. Got a bunch of antidotes and experience points and hell yeah points. Anyway, we did it. We did it, guys. Suck on that, gobbies. Or whatever. We did it. Who are you, mister? Or should I ask, what are you? What are you? What the... Oh, 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 cutscene. He's a cool-looking fella. That beret, though. What a hapless bunch you are. You're lucky I happened to come along when I did. Didn't you know that these woods were ridiculously dangerous for ordinary travelers? Are you lost? Or out for a picnic? What? An adventure? <laughs> What's so funny, sucker? Is it so weird that I'm on an adventure? What's so fun? The four of you are on an adventure? <laughs> That's the best line I've heard in some time. <laughs> tell you what, I'll whip up a nice fire and some grub and you can tell me all about it. Hey man, free food? Can't hate on that. Alright. Don't worry kids, the smoke from the herbs I'm burning will keep the monsters away. You're smarter than you look, mister. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you, I think. But I'm not smart. When you travel as much as I do, you just learn things along the way. Well, you're fucking beast of shit, so you must have learned something. Come on kids, it's chilly. Let's get closer to the fire. Sure. I just realized I haven't even asked your names yet. You can call me Like. I'm Alex. This is my friend Ramus. Hello! <laughs> I'm Nal. And I'm Luna. We're traveling from the village of Berg. Thank you for dealing us... Or er, dealing? Dealing? I don't... Where did that come from? Thank you for helping us defeat the monsters, Like. You're quite kind. Hmm, Luna. Is something wrong, Like? Oh, nothing. That's just a name I've not heard in a long time. Your village is the birthplace of Dragon Master Dine, right? Yes, Dragon Master Dine is our hero. Well, he's my hero. I've dreamt of growing up to be just like him. So, you're going to be a Dragon Master, huh? I, 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 I'd like to. No dream is out of reach, Alex, no matter how impossible it might seem. And in order to accomplish your dreams, you must need plenty of food and rest. So you're saying I can't accomplish anything? Ho 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 ho! Indeed you can, now. Alright, Alex, let's finish our food and get some sleep. We have to get up early, while the monsters are still groggy. Alright, sounds good. He has the green eyes. I wonder if... He has the green eyes, dude. He has the green eyes. The mark of a true hero. What the... Mike is gone! That was kind of rude of him to leave without saying goodbye. But anyone who laughs at my jokes is a good man. I hope we meet him again. He, he was a great swordsman. Much better than you, Alex. I think you've been sloughing off in your practice again. Sloughing off? I think you mean slacking off, but it's cool. 
She has a point, Alex. We can't count on people to bail us out of trouble. Like said, we're close to the exit, Roy. After we get out of here, we head south. To the Port of Saith, where we set sail for Moribia. And take our first step onto the shining path of glory. Deep breaths, Ramus. I forgot what my voice was for him already. Oh well. Anyway, on our way out. There's another treasure and another battle. Let's throw down with a group of gobby bitches, shall we? We did just get a friggin' full heal, so I'm cool with throwing down with one more group of these bitches. Let's... Uh, we can't even hit them all. What a lame. Well then, fuck it. Just attack them. Yeah. It might be weird to be a little overleveled um, for the upcoming sections, but I'm not gonna be too, like, or feel too bad about it because... Well, first of all, I've played this game before, so it's not like I have... I don't know what's coming. We're really just here to experience the story and not necessarily the struggles. Because a big part of this game isn't really the difficulty. Because I know some people think this game is hard, but really the only difficulty here in this game is whether you want to take the time to grind or not. Because really, the game itself isn't that hard. You usually use the same kind of strats for almost every like area you go, and then you kind of just modify it a little bit based on the kind of enemies you're fighting. Anyway, whatever. We'll talk about more about that kind of stuff later. We're outside on the world map again. There's not a whole lot of places we can actually go to right now at the moment, but we can look around. I love the world map in this game, by the way, because it's just it it feels it, it feels a lot like in a way like like Breath of Fire three, where you're, you the map is it gives you a real sense of how big the world is and like I know there's a lot of like empty area with no towns and shit. I don't know. This it just feels like a classic world map that I that I love. Anyway, this is the town of Safe. So let's go. This is where we're headed. He said south to safe, so let's do it. It looks like a port town to me. It's right on the Wata. Welcome to safe, everybody. Time to talk to a bunch of NPCs. That's probably going to take up the majority of the rest of the episode. Welcome to the port city of safe. Did you journey from Berg? Oh, I see. The fog has lifted from the woods. I'm so relieved to hear that. You're welcome to rest here as long as you like. Do you smell that? The whole town reeks of fish. I'm in heaven. And Nal is our little guardian angel. Ha 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 ha. Welcome to the Port of Saith. Okay. There's a young stranger about your age staying here at Saith. He claims to be a VIP of the Magic Guild. Sounds fishy to me. Why would a VIP come to Saith? Truly elite magician wouldn't have any business here in Saith. Huh. So there's a young guy from the Magic Guild here? Well, maybe we'll come across him while we're here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I want to be a cat in my next life so I can have an excuse for being moody. No. No. Since when have you needed an excuse? You're always moody, bro. The biggest city on the mainland is Moravia, founded by Master Mel, one of the four heroes. Boats frequently sail from the docks at the south end of Saith across to Moravia. Okay. Boats frequently sail. Okay. So we need to get to the boats on the south side of uh, Saith to get to Moravia. Come a little closer. Ah, oh, there. Let me get a good look at you. Oh, my goodness. You're adventurous. This is the first time I've seen adventurers in forever. You remind me of the young Dragon Master. Dine became one of the four heroes after setting out on an adventure. On his way to Moravia long ago, Dine met up with Helmel, who was then one of the most feared pirates on the high seas. After fighting for seven days, the two men were so worn out they declared a draw. Helmel settled down to a quiet life in Moravia, while Dine... Oh, I'm getting old, and so is this story. You know it. I, I know it? How, what do you mean, I know it? Hello? He also set out on an adventure from Saith. I wonder if Dragon Master Dine's gonna sell Dragon Diamond too. <laughs> oh, Ramus. Yeah, something tells me no, but, you know, we could be wrong. There's always a chance I could be wrong. Alright, anyway, let's just keep exploring. There's a lot of places to explore here. Hello, little girl, how are you? Hey, are you really going to be a Dragon Master? Gosh, if you become like Dine, I'll be your bride. Dragon Master's so, so hot, oh my god. Oh yes, Alex, she'd make a charming, brainless bride. Damn, she's just a little girl. Gosh, Alex, you have to become a Dragon Master. I want to marry one so bad. I'm sure there are a million girls who think like this. Dang, dude. Fucking, I didn't know Dragon Masters were the fucking, like, the pimps of the land. Holy shit. Dine must have got all the vagina in the world, dude. Crazy. You guys traveled here from Berg. That's impossible. The forest has been blanketed in thick fog for days. No one can travel through it. The fog is gone thanks to Luna's song. She has a great pair of lungs. Great. Now I can attend the Goddess Festival in Berg can't wait to see the festival. What should I wear? This will be the first year we missed the festival. We'll have to go for next year for sure. That reminds me. Have you been practicing the ocarina, Alex? Don't get rusty. Um, I'm kind of busy going on an adventure right now. Ocarinas are the least of my worries. Murby is the biggest city on the mainland. They ship all the jewels in the world there. 
They have jewelers just for the rich in that great city. Jewelers, Alex! They might buy our gem at a good price. Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. All we have to do now is get there. Yep, indeed. All we gotta do is get there. How hard could it be? Just take a ship from here to there, right? Nothing could stop us. You look like adventurers. Do you all know about the four heroes? I actually don't. Let's hear about them. Then I'll give you a brief rundown. Dragon Master Dine, who hailed from the nearby village of Berg. He's, uh, gone now. Mel de Alkirk of Moravia, a Herculean beast man, also known as Hell Mel. Lemia Ausa, the leader of the Vane Magic Guild. She's not young, but she certainly is beautiful. And the great sage Galleon, premier of the city of Vane. He was Dine's best friend. Okay, there you go. Feel any more enlightened now? I actually do. We now know the four heroes that traveled with Dine back when he was a Dragon Master. That's pretty cute. Got Dine, Galleon, Lemia, and motherfucking Mel. All right. You know, I've heard that Brett, uh, that Brett the Gambler hasn't been beaten for over 20 years. The captain said he'd do it and put up our sea chart as booty. Brett cleaned the poor fool out. And now we can't set sail. Can you get any dumber than that? Wait, you can't set sail? I'm sure Brett is cheating, but no one's ever been able to catch him. And if he can't be caught, it can't be proven. Ooh, gotta catch a motherfucker cheating before we can beat him at his game at his own game, huh? Alright. Oh, actually, I think this is where we need to go. Eh, fuck it, let's just keep talking to everybody. Why haven't any chefs left from Moravia today? I don't want to wait here a second longer. I'm with you, madam. I can't wait to get out of this awful town. I didn't mean to yell. I'm just upset because I had a fight with my lousy, no-good, deadbeat husband. Well, I mean, if he's that lousy, um, you know, you should give me a call. It's cool. Instead of trying to stop me, my husband is at the bar drinking away the last ounces of his liver. Now, do you understand why I'm moving to Moravia to start a new life? Damn, girl. Ship in Moravia hasn't set yet sailed. What's going on? I have, yet, I have to return there to close a big business deal, and if I miss it, I lose big bucks. Feel your pain, sir. Time is money. Indeed. If I blow this deal, I'll be the only third. I'll be only. I'll only be the third richest man in Moravia. This will not do. I must be number one. You want to board the ship to Moravia? Sorry, kids, but that's completely out of the question. Now nah, the ship's fine. It's kind of a long and embarrassing story. Talk to the captain in the back room for all the sordid details. <sighs> Anything else? If you see the captain, would you tell him he's a moron? Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll get right on that. This guy looks captainly. This must be him. Ahoy, mateys! I'm the captain of the Hispaniola, bound for Moribia. The sea is tossing so hard that I need me sea chart to navigate it, but I seem to have gambled it away. Har, that scurvy dog, he won't be so lucky next time. I'll have a rematch or his head, I tell ye. What's a sea chart? Some kind of really yummy fish? No, silly, it's a map of the ocean sailors used to avoid hazards. Okay. Har, son, don't ask me why I don't have me own sea chart. Ask the dock master, har. Okay, if you say so. Are you the dock master? Oh, the captain was fooled into losing a sea chart in a card game with an infamous gambler named Brett. The captain is a fine sailor, but the worst poker player in history. The man's eyes twinkle with delight every time he gets two cards with two pretty pictures on them. Now I have a port full of angry passengers, drunken sailors, and rotting cargo. Lovely. Brett, he's gloating at the bar. So, are you saying I should go talk to this Brett guy? We need that sea chart back, and we need it now. All right, so I think we know what we must do, right? We got to get the fucking sea chart so we can get on the boat. Also, we should heal. I didn't do that yet. Anyway, here's the bar with the with the beer on the front. But let's finish looking around and talking to all the rest of the NPCs before we go in there. Um, did I talk to Did I talk to you? I can't travel in Ruby, and the captain and the ship gambled it away. I hope he's happy with the entire town about my male pattern baldness. Wow. Okay. Hey, a while ago, some weird guy asked me if I knew a lady who's a good singer. I wonder if he was looking for Luna. Are you guys looking for a good singer, too? No, we already got one of those. We don't need an extra one. There is shops here, huh? Let's see if there's anything good. I'm not even sure. What do you got? Oh, shit. You got stuff. I'm thinking we need to buy some stuff. Yeah. Long s oh, by the way, look at all that money I have. Thank you to grinding. All right. Ooh, inventory full. Hold up. Hold up. I got no space. All right, I'm going to sell these antidotes because I'm probably never going to use them. I'm going to sell one herb just so I have some space. I'm, I'm going to move it all to null in a minute here. But we just need space to buy some new weapons. So we're going to we're gonna go ahead and equip that. Um, 
I believe we're just going to go ahead and buy a bow for Luna and for Ramus since they keep them long range for now. Um, and I think we're just going to buy clothes for everybody. Well, wait, armor actually. Wait, am I buying armor or am I buying clothes? I guess I'm buying armor. I mean, I got the money. It's only 60 more and it's better. Why would you? Oh, Luna can't even wear it though. That's fine. Equip that. Equip that. And equip that. Alright. That's good. And while we're here, let's sell the old shit. You won't need it, so feel free to sell it. You won't need the old shit. It's interesting that you get the new stuff so early on. Like new equipment already at the first town you get to. I actually really like that you do. It's just very interesting that they give you new stuff so quickly. Alright. What do I have in the way of items? Real quick. I have two of these. Let's put one. No, I didn't mean to give it to him. I meant to give it to, to Null. Okay, we're good. Okay, cool. We bought some stuff. What was in here? Um, hello? Wow, what the heck is that weird thing behind you? Weird? Me? There's childless wise beyond his ears. <laughs> uh, will that weird thing behind you eat this? No, kid. I won't eat a ball of toe cheese. Toe cheese? Mm, I'd probably pass, too. I gotta say. Anyway. What's up, little kid? My mom and dad are away, so I have to stay here and take care of my little brother. What a mature little girl. She reminds me of you, Luna. Thank you, Ramus, but flattery won't get you anywhere. Alex already has me. You can't have me also. I can't wait for my parents to come back. I'm about ready to strangle my little brother. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I know the feeling. Anyway. Alright. Moving on. There's a dog here. I hate dogs. All they ever do is bark at me. Well, of course they do. Dogs and cats don't get along with each other. Duh. Oh, you are pushing it, son. You are pushing it. Pushing it real good. Anyway, what up, old lady? Saints and Berg are sister cities, although Berg is more isolated because of the mountainous terrain. Sister cities, huh? Don't relatives give each other food? Say, for example, fish? No, I'm convinced you have a stomach where your brain should be. You kids are from Berg, aren't you? That means you're all my brothers and sisters. What? What? Grandchildren, maybe. He doesn't mean it literally, Feather Noggin. <laughs> also, you're a cat. You're not anybody's brother or sister, unless we find some more flying cats. What sad little creatures. Even though they have wings, they can't fly. That's almost as weird as a talking cat. Yeah, that- Hey! <laughs> you're hilarious, Ramus. Hilarious. There's a lot of houses here. Fuck, man. That means lots of NPCs to tell me things. My son keeps asking me to move across the sea to Moribia. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. There's nothing for kids to do out here in the boonies. The boonies. I'm sure there are nice things about Moribia, but... I like Saith. I was born here and I grew up here. I don't want to leave. So my kids can stay here and be miserable for the rest of their lives. Sweet. I want to go to Moribia, but my mom says it's too dangerous. She doesn't know anything. Mom doesn't want you to going because she's worried about you. And you shouldn't speak of the woman who brought you into this world like that. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I'll miss mumble to myself. <laughs> My mom worries about me, so she won't let me go to Moribia. If I grow up, can I go, please? Sure. Sure. Just grow up already, though. You ain't going nowhere without that grown-upness. Alright. Um, let's see. We already talked to her. Okay. I think we're good on this house then. Good on this house. Get out of the way, dog! Ugh. <laughs> Fucking dog. You! You're all dressed up for an adventure, big guy. Will you take me with you? Hey, sure thing, babe. <laughs> Alex, I'm surprised at you. Is this how you intend to behave on your adventure? Don't even talk to me, and don't even think about bringing her along. <sighs> nah. So, Alex, you had to think about the answer? What was going through your mind? I thought so. Just don't even look at me right now. Yeah, see, you can't even win on that one. You always lose. You always lose. You children are going to Moribia? You should pay a visit to Hellmel. Mel is one of the four heroes. He's idolized and considered a hero by everyone who knows him. Of course he is, because he's the most powerful person in the city, man. I bet he's filthy rich. Probably. Moribia is governed by Mel de Alkirk, a, be a fellow beast man. Hellmel is our hero. Okay, so these guys are beast men. You can tell by the horn on their head and their weird pointy ears. I'd nod my own foot off just to meet him. Mel's as popular and safe as Dine is in Berg. I want to hear Mel's stories about his adventures with Dine. Me too. 
My younger brother also wants to meet Helmel. I promise to take him when he's a little older. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Coo, coo, coo. Oh, 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 oh. There's a beast lady up there. I want to talk to her. Hello, lady. Beastmen and humans have lived together in relative harmony for years. It wasn't always this way. I guess I never thought about it before. That's because you're the exception, Nall. Ooh, you don't have any prejudice against beastmen, do you? Of course not. Only against cats and dogs. No, you, you jokester. Oh my, I told you, man. He's the best character. Null is best character. You cannot deny. Because any DJ that denies is a mother if it lie. Alright, are we ready to go to that bar yet? I'd stay out of here if I were you. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Plus the beer's watered down. That makes me want to go inside even more. He's just trying to help us, Null, isn't he? Watch out for Brett. He's the best gambler I've ever seen. Alright. The best I've ever seen. My store went bankrupt. My wallet was stolen. I'm the unluckiest man in all of Save. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. He's not talking to you, Luna. He's talking to his beer. <laughs> my store went bankrupt. My wallet was stolen. Okay, he just says the same shit. Okay. You. I lost all my money. I earned all my last voyage. Uh-huh. I'm gonna drink it on thick, then I'll heave all over Brett. Heave all over him? I'm guessing you're gonna throw up on his face. How are. Hey, what are you kids doing here? My first two customers' hours and they're underage. I need something to bring in new patrons. Anything. Do you think business would pick up if I hired a singer from Berg? Nah, quiet you. What, you wanna work at a bar? Hey, this jug has some ale inside of it. <laughs> no, you're getting your still drunk just smelling that stuff. Alright, here's Brett. Howdy, son. My name's Brett. I reckon I'm the best there is when it comes to gambling. I ain't talking to you till you gamble with me first, understand? Pardon? You want the C chart? Hmm. Gamble with me and I reckon we can talk. How about it? Sure. Let's do it. I reckon we will. Alright, then. Let's play for 100 silvers. We'll start with a real easy game, son. I toss a coin. You guess heads or tails. Call it. Alright, uh... Tails never fails! So sorry, son. It's heads, not tails. Shame, ain't it? But I reckon that's why they call it gambling. Uh-oh. Raymond's don't look too happy about this. I lost 100 silver, dude. Just one more game, son. I don't want to leave you broke. Heads or tails? Alright, it's gotta be heads. Dag nab your look, son. It's tails. I win again. Damn it, son of a bitch. Hmm... Hey, Alex. What you got? Did you look at the coin he's using? I mean, really look? Well, what do you mean, Ramus? The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he shows us. Brett is switching after the toss. What? Are you sure we should accuse the best gambler in this town of cheating? Come on, Noel. If anyone knows anything about money, it's me. Let's do it one more time. It'll be fun, I promise. Okay, one more time. Let's do it. You kids are back. Come on now. I don't want to win no more of your allowances. It just ain't right. We want to make things more interesting, Brett. We want to bet this. Oh, shit. Really? Ramus, you better be sure about what you're doing. We didn't come all this way to safe to lose the diamond on a coin flip. Holy God, it's all thing. I reckon that's the prettiest rock I ever seen. You got yourself a bet, son. Ha! Whoa, dude. Ramus just bellied that fool. There, see? So Ramus's plan was to beat up Brett. Sheer genius. <laughs> Put that corn down, boy. Why, Brett? So I don't notice it has two heads? Brett, you're nothing but a lying, cheating weasel. I knew the coin was fake when I heard it hit the table. A real coin makes a deeper clink. Oh, dear. I've been caught by a child. If news of this were to travel, I'd be ruined, you naughty beast the boy. <laughs> Got my money back and my diamond. I see your accent was fraudulent as your coins. Don't you know that you can't con a con? Damn, get wrecked, bitch. Now tell me about this chart. Game over, Brett. Give us the chart. I'm afraid I don't have it. Please don't shove me again. I bruise quite easily, and I'm a blader. What? You said we had it if you, you said we had to gamble for it. I said you had to gamble, but I never said I had the chart. You, you ninny ninny dum dum poopy head. What the? I don't remember that line. <laughs> anyway. Um, well said, Noll. 
I traded the seed chart to an old woman in the forest near the west of Saith. She gave me this. Fortune cane? Take it with you. Perhaps the woman will trade again for this cane. Or something else. Oh, sure. Why did you give us the cane, Brett? Well, I was hoping you, Brett, I mean, you darling children would keep our little secret. If you want the sea chart, pay a visit to the woman in the Northwest Forest. She might trade with you. Alright, fine. Another side quest. But without it, we were, we will not be able to go to safe. So therefore, we must go to the forest, to the Northwest. See, aren't you glad we loaded up and re-equipped everyone? Because now we're ready to go through another forest. Yes, another forest. Anyway, Northwest. Don't go the way we came back to the Weird Woods. Go to the west side of the mountains and you will follow. And you probably saw it if you were looking around on the other side. There's a house over here. Well, to get to said house, we got to go through the forest. So welcome, everyone, to the place known as the Hag's Forest. I believe... I'm just trying to make sure I'm not, like, forgetting anything. I don't think so. All right, let's check out the new enemies here. We got one right here. Looks like a big old ant. Indeed it is. It's five of them. All right. Um, AOE will not matter, so let's just attack, attack, attack. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we can kill him in one hit. Nice. All right. 20. See, aren't I glad I leveled up? Over leveled up, I should say. Although, I and I also I bought a new sword. Without the new sword, I don't think I would have killed him in one hit. The long sword for the win. So anyway, these ants are basically your, your standard cannon fodder for the area. As ants should be. They are freaking ants. They're freaking ants, bro. They're freaking ants. Also, hell yeah, dude. Already level 11. With everyone? Yo! Everyone goes to level 11 at the same time. Gotta love it. Alright. At the very least for this dungeon, I want to show off the rest of the new enemies before we call this an episode. I think we should have time. Um, okay. There's an herb there. The reason why I didn't grab this chest first is because you see how it's in the middle of this, you know, whatever, clearing? It's so conspicuous. It's like this treasure's all hidden on the corner. There's a reason why this is so conspicuous. Check this out. Yep, you aggro enemies. It's, well, not necessarily aggro, but you summon an enemy. It's basically called a trap chest. So, yeah. Be wary of those. Anyway, say hello to the killer flies. These are not a fun group of enemies, but they are pretty fucking weak sauce on the defensive department. And they're usually pretty fast, as you can see. Only Alex is faster than them. I didn't realize how weak they were in the defense department, so that's good. Kill them in one shot with Luna means Ramus should be good to go on that too. Cool. Alright, what other new enemy do we have around here? Are you a new enemy? You must be. You're a different... You're a different enemy on the map. Aha! More of these guys, but these ones are pink. What are these called? Mantle reap ra mantle wrappers? What the fuck? Mantle wrapper? I don't I I don't. You know what? I have an idea. There's no boss in this dungeon, by the way. This is not a proper dungeon, so don't worry about using up some MP here. I guess I could try to put them to sleep. Why do you need to do that? When you could do that. Hell yeah. Explosion staff. Yeah, we won't be getting our first, like, real proper boss until after this dungeon, so... Yeah, that's spoiler alert. I guess technically the fight with the group of enemies back in Weird Woods at the beginning of this episode was kind of like a boss fight. It wasn't really a boss enemy to consider it a boss fight, though. Is that all the enemies? We fought the Mantle Wrapper, we fought the Killer Flies, which we're fighting some more right now. And we fought the Ants. There's still one more enemy, so let's see if we can find them. Maybe find the rest of the treasures before we move on here. Because I don't think we're going to get to the next part here. Yeah, probably not. What did I pick up in that treasure chest earlier? An herb, right? Healing herb? Yeah, I think I got an herb. There should be three more... Four more treasure chests around here somewhere? Here's one right here. Okay, here's the last new enemy. This big, big-looking bee thing. Last new enemy. This is the Killer Wasp. They are very annoying. I highly recommend you go ahead and just sword dance the shit out of them. Also, if you see one of these flies spinning around like this, aim for them first. I don't know if Luna or Ramus will hit them fast enough, but hopefully they will. I don't think sword dance is necessary for these big bees, but I'm doing it just because. Okay, cool. Good thing when they do that little spinny move, they actually go slow. That's good. That's good. 
The other thing you should watch out for with these killer wasps is whether they're going to do um, their stinger attack. The re way you can tell that is if their butt is pulsating, essentially. This bee's butt is not pulsating, and it hasn't yet, so I'm not too concerned. He can go ahead and do his little slash attack. Yeah, that's another thing we haven't talked about yet, right? Enemies can telegraph. You can you can tell what enemies, or what attacks the enemies are going to do if you just look at their animation. Usually, every attack in the game has a different animation. So, like, the, whatever the enemy is doing as the turn is about to go, you can tell what attack they're going to do. I think every single enemy in the game has a tell for every move they're going to do. I didn't really point it out earlier, but... It's definitely a thing you, can, you should keep an eye on when you're uh, playing this game. It's very helpful to know what's coming and what you should expect and who you should target. And just it's just a nice, a nice feature. It's one of my favorite things about this game, actually, is the fact that enemies telegraph what they're about to do. I think this is another trap chest. Um, I wouldn't mind fighting all the enemies in this area, and I probably will. Uh, you know, I don't really need to. Now that I say that, I was going to say that we should... But we're killing things in one hit already. There's really no reason to grind in an area. Well, okay. There is reason to. I, I take it back. There is reason. Money. It's always worth it in this early part of the game to get as much money as you can. So I, I suppose killing all the enemies is not too terrible of an idea. I'm pretty sure this chest is a trap chest. That's why it's in the middle, not hidden in the corner, you know. If it's in the middle of the path, it's probably not a treasure chest. Does that make sense? Any stupid traveler could find it if they're just walking along the path. That doesn't make it a very good treasurely chest, does it? Bring it on, ants. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Super fine. Super duper fine. Alright, we're good. We good. Shit, I might be able to clear out all the enemies in this video without even having to cut anything. My main thing is just to f let's find all the treasures before we call it a day. Oh, that brings out two flies. Mmm, I wasn't expecting two flies. That's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Alright, none of these guys are dive bombing, just attack them. Now that, we, now that we understand all the enemies here, I'm not too concerned about anything happening. And I don't mind showing all the battles. The enemies here are not too time-consuming. Like I said, there's going to be points in the game where fighting all the battles on screen is going to be a tedious-as-fuck chore. And cutting out, clearing out areas is a good idea in the long run. But these early areas, especially now that I'm overleveled for the rest of this area, I'm kind of okay with fighting all the things, or at least the ones in my way. If I can avoid a few here and there, like that one I just avoided a second ago, I'll just go ahead and do that. Damn it. Hopefully Alex goes for the back one. Yes. Good, good, Alex. Good, good. I'm happy. Ooh, I probably... I, everybody's orange. They're not quite critical, you know? I don't know. If we have to fight another group of flies right now, which we might have to, we should be fine for one more battle before we have to heal. I guess I could just spend the next battle healing if there's not a lot of flies. Also, this trap, this chest in the middle of this area right here is probably a trap as well. And let's just kill this fly so I don't have to run from it. I'm going to leave that chest alone. I'm pretty damn sure that's a trap chest. How many chests have I picked up in this area so far? Just two? I picked up two herbs? I don't remember what the other chest I picked up was. Was it another herb? Was it an antidote? I forgot what I picked up. I guess I could just check Alex's inventory. He's probably sitting in his inventory right now. Probably just sitting there, waiting for me to look at it. What did you get? Oh, did I get a starlight? Oh, I might have got a starlight. Okay. Anyway, there's another herb over here. And uh, a big, big bee. Big bee. A big bee. Watch out for the big bee. Alright, so these bees are definitely not doing the dive bomb. Um, I really wish I could AoE these fools, but just they're just spread out enough to where I can't. Kind of lame. He takes two hits, right? I was just trying to make sure I could kill him. Holy crap, 20 damage? Oh my god, see, that's why you gotta kill the dive bomb, motherfucker. That shit's hella damage. I kinda got screwed over there by that first bee getting a crit hit. Kinda sucked. Didn't, it did not work out for me. No siree. Uh, we'll be alright. As long as that bee doesn't go ape shit with his attack, we should be fine. 
Oh yeah, we're fine. Alex is kind of a beast. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we have seen it already, right? Where Null revives a teammate when they're down. But I just wanted to make sure that we clarify that when a teammate gets downed and he revives them, they do not miss out on experience points. So anytime anyone dies in battle, don't worry about them missing out on experience. Just win the battle. Everyone will still get the experience points, thanks to Null. Oh god. Uh, yeah, let's be careful here. Another big boy over here. I didn't, I didn't realize he was about to be right there. So I found... I think I found three treasures, right? If I found four, that's cool too, but I'm pretty sure I only found three. There's one more treasure we gotta pick up. I'm just gonna stick to regular attacks, I think. Just make sure... Remus... Remus and Luna attack the small, buzzy fly bitches to cease their existence. Cease! I almost feel like I should put Ramus in the back row with Luna, just because they both have the bows, and I'm not planning to change that at all. I'm probably going to have Ramus with long range the whole time. I'm probably not going to change that. Meh. I'm not going to worry about it for now. Okay, okay, that's the path to get to the next area. So I'm not... I missed a treasure somewhere. Oh, I... Oh, uh, okay, it must be over here. Ah... <sighs> Dude, this is actually a lot bigger of an area than I remember. That's for damn sure. Hopefully we can get this dive bomb motherfucker before he goes. Because I don't, I don't think Alex can reach him without wasting a turn. Kill him. Dang it. Bitch. You bitch. Leave Ramus alone, you bitch. What a bitch. What a couple of bitches. What a couple of bitches. Just because he's a nerd and wears glasses doesn't mean you should go for him first. Go for Alex, damn it. Anyway, wake up, Ramus. There's no time for the naps. If you need a snack, just let me know, but no time for the naps. Alright, let me just go ahead and use another quick heal. Yeah, it's definitely something I could have been doing for this whole dungeon is the the purify or the temptation song rather. The one that puts people to sleep. Anyway, there's some 400 silver. More muns. Always get the muns. Always with the muns. I think this is the last treasure. Another herb. Okay. I think that was all the treasures. I think we did get an antidote in the first chest I picked up. And again, I got a starlight. And then I just got two herbs and a 400 silver. So I think I got everything. There's five treasures that I wrote down. So hopefully that was all of them and I didn't miss any in my notes. Um... That being said, I think we're about done here on this episode. Yes, I always I keep leaving you in the middle of dungeons, but when you can save it wherever you want to, I really, really enjoy that feature. Also, Ramus went up to another level. It's crazy. It's crazy, dog. It's crazy. Okay. Well, like I said, I think that's what we're going to call it. If I want to fight a few more battles, I will. But otherwise, that's where we're going to end the episode. In the next one, we will meet you. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss any treasures over here. I don't think I did, though. All these big treasure chests in the middle are all just the trap chests. So in the next one, we will meet with this old hag who has the sea chart and see if we can get our hands back on it. Maybe if we trade the fortune cane back to her, she'll let us have it. Will we be so lucky? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar. I'll see you guys then. Peace!